Hey everybody, this is Dal Stone here doing Let's 3 Mono number 24. Uh, this is probably going to be the roof, uh, the last piece of this model. And um, and then after this, what we're going to do is we're going to start throwing this into Unreal and reloading everything into Unreal. After Unreal, we're going to start doing another process called uh, like a little bit of polish. We're just going to add a little bit more polish. I'm going to create you know little bricks and stuff like that to kind of break up geometry and break up the level and break up the model. Um, just a fair warning, little brother's gonna be in the background, so it might be a little bit loud, uh, but it's okay. Um, I feel even with the noise level being a bit higher, uh, it's worth it than not having audio commentary at all. Um, this way, at least you guys can hear what I'm doing. But uh, figure I'd give you guys a fair fair warning. I think maybe in the in the future I might be more um, cautious with noise in the background, but for now um, it is what it is. Uh, and if you guys have any suggestions on you know what to do, um, like for me, I've always thought maybe it's just better for me to. <coughs> What's that called? Um, it's better for me to just uh, put audio, like music, over the video. Uh, but I don't know. I, I just don't think that that's that. Like I don't know. I just f don't really feel like I should do that. So um, just a little heads up as well. Oh, what's going on here? Dropbox, public, cathedral. Public cathedral textures. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on here? So this is. Let me just remove this out of the way here. Reference. Um. So if you guys are noticing, I I actually have a new hard drive. Um. I went out today. And I bought a brand new hard drive just because um, the other one has been causing a few itch issues uh, on and off. So I want to make that into like a to like a hard drive that's just gonna have like random like movies and stuff like that. And, um, it'll be like my backup backup. Uh, so I'm gonna slowly kind of make my transition slowly on there. So I don't know why I needed to mention that, but. I did. Okay, so here we go. Very, very simple. This is going to be just a simple roof. Nothing too, too fancy here. Um, so, just going to take this face and extrude it. I just took, I just woke up from a nap too, so just. <coughs> just a little heads up. A little bit groggy still, but I wanted to finish this video off because I've been doing such a good job at working on my portfolio the past um, the past week whenever I had time I've just been so diligent at working on it so I just wanted to kind of finish this off since I'm so close you know and uh, and thanks to you guys I've been really good and the support has really helped me out a lot. Uh, right, so just kind of <coughs> creating some nicks and knacks here, creating some asymmetry. No one's ever really going to see this back part, so no real point here. Um, You know what I just realized? I realized that sure I have a bunch of this stuff ready to go, but I still need to model the inside of the cathedral. I still need to model like what is in what's gonna be inside here. So I still need to break that down. 
but before I do that, I'll finish this all off. I might do simple things like take this piece here and um, just reuse it. See that? I just reuse it. There's a lot of like inside arches and stuff like that in here. But it's okay. So I got this here. Um, <clears throat> Again, this is not going to be too fancy. There's not that much going on here. So we got that. Just tweak this a bit. Tweak it in a bit. There we go. Okay, yeah, no, I think th that's pretty good. Um, now it just comes down to organization, right? Now it just comes down to organization. Um, I personally don't really know how I'm going to finish this. I might go something like that. This is... Yeah, I have to figure this out here. I might just create... I might take something like this. And... Like, I have a lot of modular pieces, and this is another reason why you want to use as much modular pieces as you can possibly can, because it really helps with kind of building things, right? So now I have these pieces I've built. <coughs> I can take these modular pieces and just kind of start to play with these around inside here. It's just like All I have to do really is just put the right textures on here, which is probably just going to be like stone or wood. And it possibly can be the answer to what I want to put inside here, right? It's, right now, this is just a uh, placeholder. This isn't completely set in stone yet. Right, but I can just easily move this forward. Wait, wait, wait. Right, so now we have like two here, and then we can <coughs> put another wall down, and then we can possibly move these. Right. So we can go something, let's just, for fun here. So we got the wall there. We can possibly put another, um, let's just put another cube here. So I'm just kind of f trying to figure this out. I mean, this was supposed to be just the roof, but the video would have been only five minutes, and I just did not. That just felt like a rip-off five-minute video. So I'm trying to fill this video up with something that's going to be useful, which is just now fig figuring out the inside part, which, like I said, could be relatively simple. I can fill up the inside part with a little bit of, like, special effects or something, like smoke, like a fog or something, as if there's, like, something going on in the background. I might do something like that. I killed the wall here, which is... Not the smartest thing. Um, if I bring this all the way up, like this trim here, that might work too, actually. Uh, Where did I go? So I'm just gonna go like this. Grab that up. All right. <coughs> and if I just go something like that. Right, it's kind of cool. You got yourself a support. You got yourself some wood supports in the side. The side there. 
kind of And again, I'm just gonna bring this down. I'm really glad that I simplified. I mean, like, I can probably just get rid of this edge loop. Just to uh, simplify it a bit more. Right? And then. down there we go almost done here it's amazing I'm already at episode 24 which almost 25 which is a quarter way through and you know modeling wise the main stuff is done which is fantastic uh, okay so we got that going for us <coughs> which means there's not that much left which is fantastic I'm building this wall both sides here because again I'm I'm afraid of the uh, the rendering. I'm scared of the rendering, like of the the lighting going through. So just gonna go like that. Go here. Just gonna swing this all the way out. <coughs> there we go. So now we have that going on for us. And and there we go. I mean, at this point, you're not gonna see too too much more. I think at this point, I mean, I can probably just bring this all the way up. At that point, and then I can just take, and then I can just take this and take the face, this wall face. And just, you know, put this. <coughs> and then uh, you guys might have guessed it at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a trim in between this and that wall. And that should finish this off. So, like, put a trim between that. So, I'll take that. Trims on trims, baby. Trims on trims. So in between here, we got a trim right there. So now we have a trim connecting these two walls together. There you go. All right, there we go. There we go. So, I mean, obviously this is like pretty plain. Right, like there's not that much happening inside here. Um, let me save this. Saving something on my new hard drive for the first time. Always exciting. Um, let me see. So what's inside here? So it looks like there's a lot of like wood planks and stuff like that. Just a lot of like random. Just a lot of random wood. It looks like you know. Um, so I might <sighs> sorry that was a weird noise uh, so there's a lot of wood kind of like right up here so I might go and, like, and, I'll, and I'll create some of that stuff a little bit later the next step for me is now taking this and putting it into the into Unreal into UE4 um <sighs> But I think first I need to organize this. 
and have like actual names and stuff for it. Let's you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Can I can I do that? Fifteen minutes in this video. Um. Yeah, yeah, I should do that. I feel like it's a completely different topic though. It's like renaming things. Should I? Oh, let me save this. Uh, I'm trying to think. Should I do the renaming thing right now? I feel like it's its own video in its own. Yeah, you know what? It's its own video on its own. So the next video what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize everything, put everything into kind of um, like rename everything so that everything is correct. Hope you guys figure out and teach you guys like how things should be organized prop wise and then start exporting out each and in each individual prop put it into unreal so thank you guys for watching thanks for the support uh press the like button if you guys do like it like the channel subscribe to the channel if you guys like what i'm providing and uh thanks for all the comments thank you guys so much keep it real see you guys next time